Hi guys, welcome to Shields Cooking. Today we're going to create an onion dish, but it's going to be a little bit different than normal because we're going to make it out of onion, onion and onion. Yeah, only onion. I've created this dish to show you guys that you don't need expensive ingredients to make beautiful fine dining food. Now you just need to be open-minded and creative and you can make anything you want. If you haven't done already, please subscribe to support my channel and hit that notification button so you don't miss any amazing cooking videos. So, let's begin. First start by cleaning two and a half kilos of onions. Now transfer the peels into an oven dish and dry them at 80 degrees Celsius for around two hours. Once they're dry, transfer them into a container and set fire to them with a blowtorch. Then add around 300 grams of cold neutral oil. Now cover this directly and then wrap it tight with plastic foil. Let it sit for 30 minutes. After, remove the top and pour the oil on a sieve that's laid with a clean kitchen paper. Keep this for later. Now for the onion paper. First, chop 400 grams of cleaned onions fine. Then heat up a frying pan, add a splash of oil and glaze the onions on a low heat. Also add 4 grams of salt for seasoning. Now cover the pan and keep on heating it on a low heat for 30 minutes. Then add 20 grams of white wine vinegar and reduce this completely. Once it's reduced, transfer the onions into a blender and blender it till smooth. Now spread a layer that's around 1 mm thick on a silicon sheet and then transfer the remaining cream into a piping bag. Then dry this at 70 degrees Celsius for around 3 hours. Now gently remove the onion paper from the silicon sheet and then cut it with a big round cutter. Transfer the rounds on a tray that's laid with plastic foil and keep them at room temperature for later. Then the onion broth. Cut 8 onions in 4 and transfer them onto an oven dish. Now slightly toast them with a blowtorch. Then cover the dish with a silicon sheet and then an oven tray. You can also use aluminium foil. Now toast it at 200 degrees Celsius for 1 hour. Transfer the toasted onions into a big pan, cover it with water and let it simmer for at least 3 hours. Then drain it to a fine sieve and keep the leftovers for later. Now reduce it till you have the desired flavor and then season it with salt and a touch of white wine vinegar. Give it a taste and then put it through a sieve that's laid with a clean kitchen paper. Keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the onion powder. Begin by spreading the onion trimmings on a silicon sheet. Then remove the peels and dry the onions at 80 degrees Celsius. This takes around 5 hours. Once dry, transfer them into a blender and blender it into a fine powder. Then keep it dry and covered for later. Now for the filling. Take all the remaining cleaned onions and chop them fine. Then heat up a big pot, add a splash of oil and caramelize the onions together with some salt. Do this on a medium heat. Once they're caramelized, season the onions with some of the onion powder that we just made. Mix it and then transfer it into a bowl. Now cover it with plastic foil and let it cool down in your fridge. Then we can start to plate. First put a small amount of the filling on the onion paper and fold this together like a dumpling. Then take a hot plate and pipe the onion cream that's at room temperature in a circle on the plate. 
Now put the dumplings on there as well. Those are also at room temperature. Add a couple of the drops of the smoked onion oil together with the onion powder. And then finish it off with the hot onion broth. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share the video and subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing cooking videos. And as always, bon appetit!